Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 3692 APK 773BL. This is a mill finish aluminum door bottom, door shoe, or even door astragal, with a black PEMCO preen insert. This is primarily used as a door shoe, something that you're going to screw down to the bottom of the door. I've also seen this used as an astragal as well. This has a good application when you're trying to close a gap between two doors, obviously not fire rated doors, that is larger than ideal. Let's get right to the uh, dimensional properties and while I get the tape measure, the 3692A is available only in the mill aluminum finish on the aluminum portion. The PK is Pemco Preen. That's the only insert that this is available in. It's like a synthetic rubber from Pemco, right? You can select from either BL for black or GR for gray. This again is black, available only in 36 inch and 48, 48 inch lengths. Now, let's get some dimensional properties. There is an image below this video showing those important dimensional properties. 9 sixteenths of an inch, pardon me, 9 sixteenths of an inch overall height. That's good. 1 and 7 sixteenths overall width. Okay. That would make this ideal for a door bottom. Again, as an astragal, if you had a gap that was 7 sixteenths, half inch, 3 eighths of an inch, this would be good because it will close down significantly. And then it'll again, of course, come back out to fill that sort of gap. You can get a kind of an idea on the camera there what the projection of this actually is. So it's 9 sixteenths in this direction. Again, it'll fold down pretty substantially. People will use something like this between two doors to just simply mitigate a problem. Mitigate the fact that the doors are way too large between the two of them. And something like this could be uh, something that would work well for you. Otherwise, it's used to seal the area <clears throat> under a door with minimal effect on the appearance of the face of the door. You don't really see this unless you get your head down on the floor and look. Sealing the gap under the door. They say that the channel is punched with elongated slots for easy adjustment. Okay, let's go over that. First of all, Again, available only in three foot or four foot lengths. You'll have to cut this to length. The slotted hole is incredibly useful at getting that tailored under the door exactly where you want it to be positioned. Or as an astragal, to get it exactly positioned between the two doors as well. You know, not every door is completely flat. Not every frame is level. Not every sill is level. Okay. Not every jam is without some sort of twist at the bottom. So those slotted holes will really help compensate for that final sort of adjustment that you can uh, happen uh, on that. Speaking of those holes, screws are included in a complimentary finish. I have had some people uh, get real fancy with this. Here's what I mean. You could route this into a door, especially as an astral. You could buy from an industrial hardware supply springs that would go underneath your slotted <coughs> forgive me. You could buy springs that would go underneath your slotted holes and then longer screws. So you create the mortise. The springs will allow it to float a little bit and as you tighten or loosen the screws you can tailor the projection of the unit on the door either vertically or underneath. Just a way to help not only seal better your installation but in my opinion obtain the ability to be able to in the long term adjust the setting of that because over time doors do this. Pairs of doors, great example. Those doors tend to come in this way. All the weight is up at the top of the door and those are the hinges that take the majority of the load and therefore the first hinges to wear out allowing the doors to sag down. When you've got material mortised and while the 3692 APK L773 is not the ideal um, analogy for mortising and then adding springs to it. it. The concept is that you can tailor it over time as the door opening ages. You can get 
you can make your weather stripping smart, so to speak. Now, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the uh, full line Pemco catalog. The latest version of the Pemco catalog has gotten has has become far more organized, in my opinion. They give you far more information in one consolidated sort of setting. You'll be able to drill down to the exact part number. You'll see all the available inserts that can be ordered with it. You'll and also get the part number for the replacement insert as well. Here's a scenario. You've got this unit after five or ten years. The Pemco print has begun to fatigue. You want to replace this only. No problem. Pull up that catalog, get the part number only, order just the lineal footage of the replacement insert, and that's it. Very simple. And I, I congratulate Pemco for making it that easy because it was never until the latest version of the catalog that simple to obtain those part numbers. A, a layperson couldn't do it. You had to have access to inside documentation or contacting the factory. Uh, if you have any questions on the Pemco, 3692 APKL 773 door bottom or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.